Well, Zero Harm came about uh, as uh, we started to look as a business about where we needed to be uh, in, the, in the long term, 10, 15, 20 years out. If you take the construction industry, we all know it's a high hazard industry. It's, it's a dangerous place. Uh, if I go back 20, 30 years, um, workplace fatalities in construction and workplace injuries were commonplace and were largely accepted. If we look at it today, we still have fatalities, we still have um, workplace injuries throughout the construction industry. Mercifully, they're much, much fewer than they used to be. Uh, as, an, as a business, we have to get to a point where not only do we stop the existence of or the, the, the occurrence of fatalities and the occurrence of major injuries, uh, but we, we eliminate the very risk of them happening. Now, to do that, we have to take a fundamentally different view of the way we look at health and safety. It isn't just that, uh, we, that we need people to act safely, to be aware of, the, of their, their own safety. We as an organisation have to engineer out the risks that we subject people to. So what we have to do ultimately is to find new ways of doing things that take people away from the hazardous activities so that we know and I know that everybody who comes to work for Balfour Beatty will remain safe. People within Balfour Beatty have a high awareness of safety, of their own safety and the safety of those of their colleagues around them. Clearly, we need people to continue to, be, to have that, that sense uh, and that vigilance um, in, in being safe in themselves. But above that, we, have, we as a management team have to focus on individual risks, and that involves everybody through the organisation in thinking about the risks that, that they're subjected to and that the way that they operate subjects others to, so that we can then, as an organisation, look at how we engineer out those risks, take people away from the hazards, and make sure everybody's safe.